Hello, and welcome to another quiz. Today, it's all about faith, and I have complete trust that you'll do well. 20 questions. Let's begin. Question 1. Abraham had the faith to leave his homeland at God's command, but where was he told to go? Was it Canaan, Egypt, Jerusalem, or he wasn't told where? Well, Abraham wasn't told where to go, as you see in Genesis chapter 12. Question 2. What did Shem and Ham's father construct in faith that saved the family? Was it the temple, the altar, the ark, or the tent? And of course, it was Noah that constructed the ark, and it's Hebrews 11 that tells us he did it in faith. Question 3. Who by faith refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter? Was that Aaron, Moses, Benjamin, or Joseph? And that was Moses, again in Hebrews 11. Question 4. Who trusted God and made the journey from Babylon to Jerusalem without protection from soldiers? Was it Ahaziah, Haggai, Mordecai, or Ezra? That was Ezra. You'll find it in Ezra, chapter 8. Question 5. Who was taken from this life by faith so that he did not experience death? Was that Enoch, Elijah, Jeremiah, or John? That was Enoch, again in Hebrews 11. Question 6. Who brought good news of the faith and love of the Thessalonians to Paul? Was it Barnabas, Silas, Onesimus, or Timothy? And the good news was brought by Timothy, referenced in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Question 7. Who by faith offered a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain? Was it Laban, Enoch, Abel, or Seth? And that was Cain's brother, Abel, referenced in Hebrews chapter 11. Question 8. Who said to Jesus, Increase our faith. Was it the Samaritans, the Apostles, Martha and Mary, or the Pharisees? And that was the Apostles in Luke chapter 17. Question 9. What was Abraham's faith counted to him as? Was it righteousness, life, good works, or truth? And his faith was counted as righteousness, described in Romans chapter 4. Question 10. What did the woman with the issue of blood touch to be made well? Was it the Ark of the Covenant, water in Siloam, a brass serpent, or Jesus' garment? And 
and she touched Jesus' garment in Matthew chapter 9. Question 11. How many believed and were baptised at Pentecost? Was it 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 or 30,000? That was 3,000 in Acts chapter 2. Question 12. In which city did Paul heal the crippled man who had faith to be healed? Was it at Jericho, Antioch, Lystra or Damascus? And the man was healed at Lystra in Acts chapter 14. Question 13. In whom did Timothy's faith first dwell? Was it Tabitha, Lois, Lydia or Anna? And that was Lois in 2 Timothy chapter 1. Question 14. Crispus had faith and believed in the Lord. What position did he hold? Was he a centurion, a chief priest, the ruler of the synagogue, or the governor? And Crispus was the ruler of the synagogue. You'll find him in Acts chapter 18. Question 15. Who did Paul tell? I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Was that Titus, Timothy, James or Philemon? And Paul was telling Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4. Question 16. Who is the author and finisher of our faith? Is it Peter, Paul, Jesus or John? And of course, it could only be Jesus in Hebrews chapter 12. Question 17. Does the word faith appear more times in the Old or the New Testament? Not surprisingly, it's the New Testament. But surprisingly, it only appears twice in the King James Version in the Old Testament. Question 18. Which battle item from Ephesians is used as an illustration of faith? Is it the shield, the sword, the breastplate or the helmet? And the faith is the shield in Ephesians chapter 6. Question 19. Who tried to turn Sergius Paulus away from his faith? Was it Figulus, Agrippa, Artaxerxes or Elymas? And that was Elymas in Acts chapter 13. And question 20. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. This is from which book of the Bible? Is it Galatians, James, Hebrews or Romans?
And you'll find that in Hebrews. Again, Hebrews chapter 11. As we've seen, the book of Hebrews has its fair share of references to faith. If you'd like to listen to my reading of the book, there's a link on the screen and in the description below. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.